Hey, what's up, guys? President Clash here, and today we're gonna be reviewing. Um, we're gonna be reviewing. Sorry, Arrow season three, episode nine, the mid-season finale, the climb. So to start off the episode, Oliver or Arrow, um, he brings one of the one a wanted criminal, Quentin Lance, in the back alley outside the police department holiday party. So while Lance heads back, um, Arrow gets attacked by the Dark Archer. Um, he assumes it's Malcolm Merlin, but a squad of fellow archers are also there. Which he does, again, assume as Malcolm Merlin, but in fact, it is Nissa Al Ghul and is behind the attack, and she succeeds in knocking out Oliver Queen with, um, her other League of Assassin henchmen or whatever. So, uh, Oliver Queen is taken back to Raj Al Ghul. And this is where he is given the information that he has 48 hours to find Sarah's killer before he unleashes the League of Assassins on Starling City, which means they're going to be killing people. And Oliver meets with his former ally, which is which is from the al which is from the flashbacks, Maseo Yamashiro. So he apparently is in the League of Assassins and working there. So that is something very surprising, and you can still see he's going to be in the flashbacks for a while. So now you see the next thing that happens is Laurel as, is at Sarah's grave wishing Merry Christmas and then Thea drops by and then uh, Thea is told that um, is that Sarah is dead but told not to tell the secret. Yeah and that's about it for um, the Thea part. So Oliver ha and his team have the only 80, 48 hours before all everything breaks loose. So Felicity finally receives DNA from Caitlyn, Caitlyn at Star Labs, and it cross checks, and it seems to be the match name is Oliver Queen, or perhaps either access to his DNA, and that's not right. So the team tracks Malcolm Merlin's movements around the world and see if he had anything to do with Sarah, Sarah's death, and it turns out to be positive. The intel leads to uh, Arrow and Arsenal beat up in, on a pilot, who gives them security footage to Merlin's arrival in Starting City. The night before Sarah's dead, accompanied by Thea herself, Oliver quickly realizes that not only did Thea lie to him, but she in the leagues with his an arch enemy. So this is a real big problem right here. Thea's been lying, and Thea um kind of knows is trying to figure out about Oliver, but Oliver has been telling her like majority of the secrets now. Now she's keeping tons of secrets to herself. So now Oliver quickly realizes that, and now. He finally realizes that it's the time to do what's right. So again, uh, Oliver goes at the arrow to infiltrate the and see um, any more information. Of course, this backfires when he breaks the w breaks into the, through a window, and um, Thea fights back, but she always al already escapes. Next, at the verdant, uh, what is it, verdant bar, or whatever. Um, this is where. Malcolm Merlin comes because he said he got a call from Thea saying that he got attacked. She got attacked by the arrow, and so they briefly fight for a minute, or just like pin each other down on the ground. And then Oliver discovers through a text message or a video sent through Malcolm Merlin, saying showing a video of Thea killing Sarah Lance. So that wraps up the Sarah plot, meaning Thea killed Sarah and he, her memory was all erased. So that that was. No, that's the heartbreaker and all that type of stuff. People didn't really think too far, but actually some people did have a suggestion that Thea was because she was working with Malcolm Merlin, and it's hard to believe that Malcolm Merlin was not part of this. So that that's what happens. Also, I'll be talking to you guys about Ray Palmer, and he shows us more of the Adam suit and tells us what he's going to do with it. He also explains his uh, story that he was going to get engaged with his wife, so I'll be uh, I'll check out that in a little bit. So before we do that, let's um go ahead and see what happens next. So he goes back to the to goes back to the League of Assassins um area whatever, and that's where that's where he tells uh, Rajal Ghul that it was him that killed Sarah. But of course, um, Nisal Ghul tells she is lying, but uh, Oliver convinces Rajal Ghul that they are going to duel to the death. So that's gonna have that's gonna be. What's gonna happen? So of course uh, Oliver needs to first make the climb up the mountain in order to fight Rajal Ghul, and that climb is throughout the episode. You keep on seeing that climb 
48 hours earlier, then it continues forward. He's climbing a mountain, and at the ending of the episode, last two, three minutes is where you actually see the fight. So, um, you're, the big spoiler and the information that's going to happen at the end is what is so important about this. So it leaves us all hanging, our faces pinned down. We are so surprised. And some of us were actually aware of this. We were going to think, yup, he's never going to be able to take on Raja al Ghul. So, um, Oliver gets to take his weapon, and Raja al Ghul is unarmed, but it was is managed to take his weapon during the fight, and then slices, or what, well, yeah, cuts his arm, then cuts his chest, and puts him, like, right at the edge of the mountain. Like, they're, cor Oliver's cornered right there, and now his chest has been cut, and now the next part is right in front of our eyes. They didn't, I never thought the writers could ever do this, but they did. Even an arrow piercing... Oliver would be different, it would actually be more suspected, but he was pierced right through his chest. The sword just went right through, I saw the whole thing, and it was insane. And Rajal Gul was saying right before the fight, he has killed many men, and over a thousand, and his first one was just when he was 11 or 12, not sure. But yeah, when he was that young, killed his first man, and ever since then he's been killing. He hasn't had a battle in 64 years, so in the end, um... Oliver is dead, and that is serious. Oliver is dead. Um, that's about how the episode ends. So, I give the episode a rating of. Actually, before we get to the rating, let's skip to the Malcolm. Well, actually, well, some. Let's go to other details in the episode. So, um, there was no. Well, oh yeah, sorry about this. Uh, I just remembered. Um, Laurel's mother comes by on surprise, and she figures out that. Sarah's dead. Of course, Quentin Lance or um, Laurel's father doesn't know yet, but I'm pretty sure he's going to find out soon. And she, I, I don't know what the response will be, but that's going to happen. So that's what's going to happen then. And then... Hold on one minute. Yeah, and let's get to the Adam story now. So in between all of Ray Palmer's complications showing the verdant team well whatever all that type of stuff Palm palmer apologizes to Felic felicity and explains why he's been a real bit reluctant to his relationships and that's because of his horrible past so during slade's invasion and his men um his uh, he his foot was broken by one of slade's mirakuru men which actually does bring us back to thinking about slade wilson and also so when his girlfriend he was engaged in, his the men broke his girlfriend's neck as he watched helplessly. He couldn't move, his foot was broken, and Felicity was very sorry. In her heart, she guessed, um, that's awesome. I, no, I'm sorry, not that, uh, oh my god, that'd be horrible. I mean, that's, she was feeling really bad for him. So, um, and now to the Adam suit. So they're in the, um, Ray Palmer's office, and this is when... This is when the discovery, um, he's gonna share with Felicity or show her the Adam suit and the reason why he's gonna do this. He's gonna save the city. Same thing exactly with Oliver. And the funny part is that he, the funny part is that Felicity is like, oh no, why me? It's something like that. And like, as you can already tell, because she's gone into so many secrets, she knows about the Flash, she knows about all those people, she knows about, she's working with Team Arrow, Team Flash, and now she's gonna work with Ray Palmer, and she probably has some connection to Laurel and Wildcat, and that's tons of people, that's four teams you're talking about, four teams of superheroes that are here in this um, Arrowverse between Flash, Arrow, and other characters in this for Arrow series, whatever. In the show, sorry. And that's awesome. So, I mean, that's still... Like, she's in a lot of pressure because, first of all, Oliver also admits that she loves her. And that's gonna be cool. And I think that's about it for this episode. Um, He says he says goodbye to Thea in a way that literally means, like, Thea knows that he's probably not gonna come back. And it's literally true. If you guys haven't seen the next preview for the next episode, make sure you guys check it out. Um, that's about it for this episode. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and see you guys next time.